Good morning. I am squinting really bad because I just woke up. This is the house that we are staying at uh, for our family vacation this week. This is day two. Uh, the camera lens is fogging up a little bit, but I am awake bright and early before everybody else because I want to go get some donuts. All right, and here we are. Krispy Kreme hot donuts now. That is my favorite sign to see in the morning. So I came to this Krispy Kreme for a couple reasons. Uh, the first being that everybody else is still kind of asleep back in the house. So I wanted to feel kind of productive and useful and go get some donuts. This is also on US 192, which is kind of like the eye drive of the Disney area. It's kind of right next to Animal Kingdom. More or less, they have a lot of stores and outlets and discount merchandise areas uh, along this road in particular and it's where our house is. Also I just want to kind of feel um, like I'm contributing to this family vacation because of a lot of other people they're they're buying tickets to the theme parks or they're buying food for everybody, they're covering lunch, they're covering dinner and I've been trying to contribute as much as I can the first night that we got here which I didn't film. Uh, we ordered some pizzas and I went to go get the pizzas and I just want to buy some stuff for everybody because they're buying stuff for me so I want to get some donuts for everybody and also they have some merchandise in there I think and I want to buy a hat. So what's interesting is that this place is only a couple weeks old and I came here for the grand opening a couple weeks ago because they had this promotion that if you came during the grand opening that you could potentially win donuts for an entire year every single month a dozen donuts for an entire year I didn't want it but the family next to me did and they were really really ecstatic about it and I did not blame them at all all right I got my donuts I got my hat and then I got this hat too which I'm really really excited to wear and it looks like they are really pumping out the uh, the donuts now it is 9 o'clock in the morning so I guess they want to get these hot and ready for everybody on their way to work all right made it back by about 9 30 that is our house right there. I'm gonna bring these inside and hopefully have some good breakfast for everybody. All right, so there's a white cream missing that Travis just took. Is it good, Travis? Mm-hmm. But got a dozen of the hot glazed and then a dozen assorted. I'm pretty proud of it. I'm excited to jump right into those. So everybody else is awake and I'd say that the donuts were a pretty big hit, right, Dennis? Oh. Dennis really likes donuts. Now, if you're kind of new to my channel, whenever I go on a family vacation, we always stay somewhere that has a ping pong table because it's very important that throughout the week we challenge each other for the ping king, the king of ping. And there are different, I guess, tiers of the hierarchy of the ping pong association that we're all involved in. Right now, Dennis is the ping king and I'm the Duke of Paddleton. That is the third rank. And then Travis is the Prince of Pong. So ping king, Prince of Pong, Duke of Paddleton. And I need to challenge Dennis for the ping king role, because I want to be the ping king until somebody else challenges me. So it's just this fun thing that just goes on the entire week, right Dennis? Mm -hmm. Are you ready for my challenge? I was born ready. Cool. So Dennis won, he has held on to his title as the Ping King and how it kind of works with the challenging that we can do throughout the week, just to make it interesting, is that the Prince can challenge the King once every hour, the Duke, that's me, I can only challenge the King once every day. And it works like that because if I beat him, I bypass the Prince and then I become the Ping King. And so that just kind of makes it more fair. But I can challenge the Prince once every hour and then once on the Prince, I can challenge him once every day. So, but he'll lose every time. And the Pink King can't say no to anybody that challenges him. That's the kind of trick that kind of comes with this. Um, all right, it seems like people are gonna go get in the pool. We do have like a lazy river here at this um, kind of vacation uh, place that we're at. They do have a lazy river to pool and I think they have like a water play area. I don't even know, I haven't really explored it much because we came here two nights ago when it was nighttime and then we spent all day yesterday at Universal. Today's the first day that we're just gonna kind of be here at the house. Yeah, but so far so good. Donuts, ping pong, it's a good way to start the day, right? All right, so once again, I'm outside walking away from the house that we rented, which is way back there, uh, in the neighborhood of the complex that we're staying at, and I'm heading down the sidewalk to go to the pool. Uh, I'm changed here, I have my swimsuit on, I have this Jungle Cruise shirt that I got a few days ago, and I'm excited to hop in the Lazy River, hopefully before it starts raining, or if it does start raining. Uh, we've been kind of talking about the consensus about what we're going to be doing this week and it kind of sounds like people are going towards having like alternating park days, which sounds kind of nice because I thought we were just going to hit the parks hardcore every single day, but it sounds like they want to do a park and then an off day, park, off day, park, off day, for now, I think, and uh, that sounds pretty good to me. 
and everybody's been planning their cooking schedules because we all kind of try to contribute with that by cooking at night and kind of having alternating teams take care of that. But yeah, so the pool's over here. And let me show you kind of what else is over here because I think this is pretty cool. Over here is a small soccer field, which is really cool. Next to that is a volleyball court. And next to that is a child's playground. There's a lake right over there. And then over here is the pool. So there's a dump bucket over here. There's kind of like a kid's water play area. Next to that is a pool. I guess kind of like the main pool for the, I guess, it's not a resort, but it's like a shared community. And then my family went over to the Lazy River, which I don't know where that is, but I'm gonna go find out. So that's the kids' water area. This is the main pool. Over here is, I guess, the Lazy River, which this is where my cousins and everybody are. We have a jacuzzi over here, and I think everybody kinda, yeah, they're sitting right over there. Hi, Mom. Hey. We have Travis, Dennis, Christine over here, enjoying their time in the Lazy River, which goes around all the way over here. The rest of the family's over here, relaxing, chilling out. Drinking. Drinking, of course. Got the main pool over there, jacuzzi, and then the little kids water play area over there. All right, so I've taken a couple trips in the Lazy River, and Dennis is going over there to throw a ball at Travis when he comes back around. <laughs> Ow. Hey, Dennis. Hey, Roy. Uh, are you enjoying your day? So yep. Far? Ooh. Much better now that you're here. Oh, shucks. Did you hear there was a hula hoop contest? I did. Did you want to enter it? Yeah. Okay. How do you do that? It's For real. Hips. It's what? It's all on the hips. I have never been able to hula hoop. Really? I am so, so bad at it. You want to practice? Yes. Bazzer. I am. Ugh. I can't hula hoop, Dennis. You want to keep your body like on the hoop at all times. Kind of. How are you doing this? Why can't I hula hoop, Dennis? Why can't I hula hoop? What are you even doing? What? And you got it going again? Yeah. What the heck? The Lazy River was over there. This is the main pool. There's the kid splash zone over there. And I'm gonna get Dennis standing underneath the bucket as it dumps. All right, Dennis is doing it. He's going underneath the bucket. This is exciting. How was it? Not bad. Refreshing? Yeah. Is it cold? No. There's a pool bar over here. We can get some, I'm sure, some drinks, maybe some appetizers of sorts. Okay, there's some snow cones, it looks like. That's awesome. So we just asked, and apparently there's not a hula hoop contest today? Yeah. Whoops. All right, can you do two? Dennis is in his own hula hoop contest with himself. Oh, that was pretty good. All right, can Dennis do three hula hoops? Yeah! Go, Dennis, go, Dennis. Keep them going. Down to two, you can do it. Woo! Use that core, or thighs, or whatever you need to do hula hoops. Dude, you are going. So inside the main building, over there is a game room. Over here is a fitness center, and we're hanging out over there. That's where our seats are, right over here by the Lazy River. And I did find out that this is a resort that we're staying at, so that makes a lot more sense with the whole communal pool, Lazy River area. So Dennis and his athletic prowess threw the football into the median. So now he has to get out of the water and go get the football. There he goes. Yay! Ah! I got it. Good job, Dennis. So there's a basketball court right over there. We may do that later. But I'm now in the lazy river with my camera, which is probably a bad idea. There's the lake over there. And we are about halfway through the lazy river. There's the splash zone for the kids. And the main pool is over here. And uh, yeah, we're almost there. All right, I did it. I made it around the lazy river with my camera. Wow. You're dad. You're dad. Dennis, You're lucky that mom ratted you out. Laura's ready to be Dennis. Hey, Daddy. I was. All right, we're heading back over to the kid area so I can get the bucket dumped on my head and maybe I can go down the water slide, which I'm excited about. They always make the kid areas so much more fun than the adult areas, and I don't know why. Was 
I told you. Nice. Whoa! How thrilling. All right, so we're heading back to our house. We had a nice relaxing afternoon at the pool and I'm sure we're gonna be there multiple times this week to enjoy the Lazy River and all that it has to offer. Ah, oh, when my hair gets wet, it just gets all over the place. We're walking back past the, um, I guess the soccer field and the volleyball court back there. Dennis actually asked for a volleyball, but they do not have one. So if we want to play, we have to go probably buy one. You people keep stealing volleyballs. You people? You think mm -hmm. these people are coming to this Someone resort out there. and stealing volleyballs? I don't think so. I don't trust any of y'all. Oh no, I like them all. They're pretty nice. They watch you. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna go back to the house and eat some pizza, and then I think eventually later on today come back and play basketball and then check out that game room in there. All right, so we made it back to the place that we are staying at for this week. A little bit more up close look at it than you've seen so far. But it's nice, it's quaint, and I do like it a lot. Very roomy, a lot of bedrooms, a lot of bathrooms, and then the pool outside, I haven't shown you that yet. So this is the kitchen and the dining room area and the living room area. We have some games here, we have a TV. There are the stairs over there that leads to the upstairs where most of the younger crowd is staying. My parents are staying in that bedroom over there. There's the garage that leads out to the pool room and the ping pong table. This is where my aunt and uncle are and here, and then right outside our sliding glass door, we have a nice patio out here with a big table, some nice chairs out here, and we have a nice little pool over here with a jacuzzi, I think. And this is nice. I haven't been in here yet, but I think uh, the cousins have. Do you like it? We have a grill too. That's cool. So if you look closely, you can see Dennis shaking his butt in the mirror right there, but I ran up to the second floor to get a quick look at everything while everybody's kind of still back at the pool. Travis and Christine are in there. Uh, I'm in this room right here. Dennis is in this room down there. Again, this is kind of like the main area that everybody can just kind of hang out and lounge on the couches. Christine's parents are in there. And then over here, uh, my cousins, I don't know who's in what room, but there's one room over here. And then there's another room in here. And this is the Star Wars room. And I want to show you something kind of scary about this room. This room is pretty dimly lit, but they have a bunch of these Star Wars portraits on the wall. They have some stars on the ceiling. But over here is a Yoda, just a Yoda head sticking out of the wall. And it's kind of weird, but also very interesting. I don't know, this is the only themed part of this entire house, is this room, and this specifically is just so odd to me. Although I guess my room does have a theme too, just being the flower room, which I'm okay with that. Even have my own little Olaf in here with his little flowers in front of him. Get a nice mural of a castle. This is definitely a little girl's room, but that's okay because I have to sleep somewhere, right? And I also had these in here, which I guess these make a lot more sense in the Star Wars room, so I'm gonna go put those back in there. All right, Dennis and I are having some pizza for lunch over here. Are you excited, Dennis? Yep. This is leftover from the other night. We have a few other people that came back from the pool, Christine and her parents and Travis, but everybody else is still out there enjoying the sun and enjoying the water. All right, so I lost Dennis earlier for the painting, but I'm challenging Travis for the Prince of Kong to make my way back to you, Dennis, for the painting. Okay, here we go. You jinxed yourself by calling it the last point. So on the pool, the cousins are playing an inflatable game of beer pong, which that's really cool. And then inside, we're over here playing Ticket to Ride, which is mom's favorite game in the world, right mom? Yes, it is now. All right, so, so... Travis won first place, followed by me in second, Yay. mom in third, and then Dennis in fourth place. Oh, Dennis! <laughs> So close. Oh, nice trap. Oh, we got So that was us playing Ticket to Ride, which is one of my family's favorite games to play every single family vacation. And uh, 
It's fun. I like it a lot. We do play it a lot, but I'm getting better at it. Uh, the cousins again, they're outside with my aunt. They're playing uh, water beer pong. Got a little celebrity shot there. And Dennis and I are about to play some pool in here in the garage. And I think we're going to go play volleyball later uh, because the Chews, Christine's parents, they went to go to Walmart to get, I guess, a volleyball. And the ingredients for the food that Dennis and I and Travis are going to be cooking and Christine later on this week. Right, Dennis? Yep. Nice. So it's kind of weird, but the eight ball is completely missing from this set of balls. So I guess we're just going to play Sans eight ball and just whoever gets through their color first is going to win. You ready, Dennis? Oh, he's ready. Nice. Woo! I'm solid. Wait, really? Yeah. We found the eight ball, Dennis. Yay! Yay! Let's just we just put it, uh, put it in the middle? Yeah. Alright. It's a real game now. Uh oh. The snakes are raised. Alright, so Dennis just has the eight ball to knock in, and he's called this corner pocket. So let's see if he wins. I'm nervous. Oh, so close. All right, so it's coming down to this. Dennis and I are both working on the eight ball, so whoever gets in the eight ball is gonna win. And I think I'm gonna try to get in this pocket right over here. You ready? Nope. Ah, Dennis won. You're the king of pool and the king of pong. You're the ping king and the pool king. Uh. So we've been stuck inside for a little bit because it started raining outside. But we're going to go play volleyball and basketball. Maybe go to the game room over by the pool where we were earlier. But the rain kind of hindered that. But a lot of people got in the pool here. Dennis, you played some inflatable beer pong. Was that fun? Mm-hmm. Nice. Uh, and I didn't film it, but I am now the ping king, the raining ping king. Uh, I beat Travis for the prince, and then I beat Dennis for the king, but now Dennis gets his rematch, so we are about to do that. Are you excited? I am all right. Nice. So it has stopped raining outside, which that's good, but I did lose the ping king title, which is bad. Now I'm the prince of Pong once again, but inside Aunt Pam is making dinner over there tonight with the help of the girls, the cousins, and over here, Christine Travis, Christine's mom, and my mom are all playing the stock market game. So it's still pretty high energy inside, very kinetic in here. All right, so I'm back up here in my flower bedroom. I'm rendering out a video right now because I finally had kind of a spare moment to edit just with the vacation and work recently. I haven't had much time to kind of do that and my YouTube schedule has been kind of falling behind because of it, but I had a spare minute, so I finally finished this video and I'm pretty proud of it, but now I can go rejoin the family and upload this video. So, yay, YouTube. So while I've been upstairs doing my thing, everybody down here has been super awesome and getting dinner ready. So we are having some tacos tonight. Look at that beef and black beans. Man, I'm excited for this. So before we have dinner, we came outside. Dennis is gonna give me some tips here on how to play volleyball, right Dennis? Yep. What's the number one tip you have? All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a drill where I'm gonna toss the ball to Roy. He's okay. going to receive the ball. Like Just like that. that? He's gonna hit it to me and then I am going to set the ball back to Roy, and then Roy will spike it, and then I will bump it back to Roy, he will set it, and then I'll spike it on him. Okay, I'm going to have to go over that in my head. And you just joined a volleyball team, right? Yeah. I've been playing in a volleyball league for a couple weeks now. Nice. So why are you training me in this, Dennis? Because I'm hoping we'll get to play volleyball eventually. Yeah, if it doesn't rain again. And you want us to be like the dream team? Can I just destroy everybody? Well, I need you to be on the opposite team so that there's somebody decent on the other team. That's fair. Kind of want some tacos now. So it's hard to tell because of how full they're packed, but these are my tacos and I am so excited about eating them and this watermelon. All right, so everybody is done with dinner, just finished doing the dishes and this is dessert. This is like an ice cream sandwich with Cool Whip and chocolate kind of concoction that my aunt made for us, and I'm really excited about it. Oh no! Two on me. Who else? Oh, two on Jan. Gum it. Oh, so um, on two on three on Dad. Yeah. So uh, I can only tell two. one person. One person to point elsewhere. Yes. 
but you mean what? You. No, I'm on the shelf. Yeah. Roy, move that gun. Dennis is on the table. Oh, right in his ear. You move that gun. Uh, courage. One, two, three. Ah! You killed my you, sister. I threw my radar, Pam. Sorry. I'm gonna have shot. All right, so All right, Steve, Roy, who are you me? shooting, Pam? Yes, he's shooting me. Steve, Dylan, Dylan, Dan, Dan, are you shooting Pam? Pam. Yeah, right. Pam. Uncle. Two on Michelle and two on Rachel. Oh, two on Rachel? Where? Michelle and Laura, the sisters oh, and Dan, two on Roy. What? Oh. Steve and Dan. Steve and Steve always gone. So the question is name the part of the body you use from. Hold on. Name the part of the body you use most from the waist up. Head. Was that the number one answer? I'm thinking. Was that the number one answer? Nope. It's easy. Hands. Hands is the number one answer. Oh! oh. oh. I guess not. I guess not. I guess, not people, you, not I guess people don't use it. Head's, head. Head's not on there, Christine? Right. I guess people don't use it very often. There are four answers for this one, just four. Ooh. Past or present name of a famous wall. Great Wall of China. Yep. Uh, Number one. Oh, you're Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> Name the worst thing about driving behind a bus. Oh. Uh, what? Odor. Odor? Exhaust. Exhaust. Exhaust is the number one answer, yes. What? <laughs> Name a sign that people disobey. Stop sign. Stop sign is number one. Oh. Woo. What did you say? No, no, never mind. Okay. Name something you wouldn't want to have happen while you're pet sitting. It dies. It pees. <laughs> it dies. It dies. Well, that's, hap that's happened to Steve and I. Welcome to Family Feud. I'm your host, Steve Harvey. <laughs> All right, we celebrate 100 people, and we have our answers right here. Give it Christine, give it Rachel. Yeah! Let's play! Let's play! Don't want to shake hands. Oh, really? That's what they do. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Name something you get into and out of every day. Fast car. I don't this is not on Who's the on list. The car? car is the number two answer. Yay! 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 All right. We surveyed 100 people. Let me ask them this question. Name your favorite soap opera. All my children. General Hospital. All my children was responded by 13 people. It is the number three answer. But General Hospital is the number one answer. Oh! Oh! Yeah! Where would you look to find out how old someone is? Birth certificate. <laughs> Driver's license. Birth certificate is the number, number three answer with eight people. Driver's license is the number one answer. Oh! Tell me something people have a hard time closing. Wait, we have to hold in. We have to hold in. Clo oh, clo closing on home. Eh. That is. Oh, oh no! Yeah. The other three answers were suitcase, oh, wow. a jar or bottle lid, closing, and a good book. Oh. So we've just been spending the entire past two hours just playing board games with everybody after dinner, having a really good time, family feud that's always a lot of fun. But now Dennis and I are gonna play ping pong because I'm challenging him for the king of ping, the ping king. Right, Dennis? Yep. Nice. Game point. Ah, shoot. So that's it, then this is still the pain king. Rats! All right, I am back in my flower room. I was defeated in ping pong, but that just means I get to challenge Dennis again to be the rightful ping king this vacation. I don't know if I'm gonna get a chance to do that tomorrow because tomorrow we are gonna go to Epcot with the whole family, so that should be a lot of fun. Uh, so I guess good night, and I will see you tomorrow.